Hi, my name's Kevin and welcome to another video. This video we're going to have a look at, we've, I've been asked to make a, um, just a, a copy of a handsaw and just made from um, perspex or acrylic and just some wood for the handle. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to create that in AutoCAD and then we'll take it across to the CNC laser cutter and then we'll cut that out and engrave the text and the necessary bits into that. So anyway, so we'll have a look on the computer. I'll start up AutoCAD and then we'll have a look at drawing the handsaw. The software I'm going to be using is just an old version of AutoCAD. And uh, this, this software can produce a file which is called a DXF type file. And that file can then be transferred across to the laser cutter software and the laser can actually read a DXF file. We can read the lines within the drawing. So anyway, so we'll make a start on the handsaw. So first of all, we'll just draw just a reference line. So that's going to be 300 mils long or 30 centimeters because that's going to be the size of the handsaw. So this is just going to be our reference point for drawing the teeth and fitting the handle into the length. So we'll now start to draw the teeth. The teeth are 10 mil in depth. So So, let's, so there's the start of our teeth pattern and then we'll just mirror that one to itself and that will give us the next one and then we can just copy that. We can do an array or but we'll just simply do a copy because it's just going to be quicker or just as quick. So here we are producing these teeth and we'll fit those teeth onto the line. Uh, maybe. Right, so we need some more teeth to fill up some more of this area, so we can just copy some of these. Uh, not from that point, though, we want from about there, we'll do. And copy, and we'll just go across until we need to double up here. Right. So then we can now start to draw the hand saw itself. So we're roughly around here to about up here. What I've done is um, I've already drawn the handle in another draw in another version here, and we'll copy that across to our drawing, and then we'll fit that in somewhere around here. We just want to lift that handle up a bit. Um, so we want that to be, we've got to fit on the end of that drawing line, so if we do that about there, we look about right. Right, and then we can just move this down to where our drawing is going to be for the handle. And we can get rid of some of these teeth now. And we can draw this up to roughly around about there, get rid of the reference line. So there's the basic outline of our saw. Um, we'll just have a hole at the front in case they want to hang on the wall. So that's going to be around there. And then we'll just tidy this saw up. Just put a curve on there just to make that a little bit more presentable. Right, so there's our basic outline of the handsaw. Um, I think we'll just bring that line down to here. That probably oh, that's better. The handle just looks a bit more realistic then. And then we just want to put some artificial like fixings in here, so it looks as though the handsaw has got a nut and bolt through. So we'll engrave these on. Right, so that looks like a screw head now. So we'll just what we'll do is we'll make it a bit more realistic and we'll just rotate that so it isn't so obvious. So something like that. And then we'll just copy that. One there and one there. Just move that 
one up a bit to get it looking better. There. And then we'll just rotate these ones because obviously screws don't always screw up to the same point. So we'll make that one there. And this one rotate. And make that one there. That looks about right. So there we have it, there's our finished saw. So in to that now we need to put in the actual wood and what we're going to be um, um, engraving and also a, a, there's a small picture of a shed itself so I'll show you here. So here's our text, Granddad Shed and we'll copy that and paste that into our drawing. Somewhere about there, we'll just leave that touch a bit more. Right, and then we'll grab our building. And copy. Place in here to about somewhere like that. And we'll just move this round a bit to look, make it look right. And then we'll just enlarge the building itself just to. Make that more so it stands out a bit better. So there we have it. There's our finished item. So what we'll do now, we'll go, we'll save this, and then we'll take the software through to the laser cutter, and um, we'll start setting up for engraving the text and the farm building and the bolts here, and then we'll finish it off by cutting it out. So here's the software on the screen here, and that's what drives the laser and next to that we've got the cooling system and the water beside that which runs through the tube that runs through the laser tube and what happens is obviously when the laser is running that generates a lot of heat so we have to keep that cool and keep that between a certain temperature otherwise the tube you'll just you know shorten the tube's life so anyway so that's the cooler and then obviously that just cools the water as it goes back into the reservoir and as you can see there the water's pumping through. Um, the water colour's green is because that's got some antifreeze in it and that stops the tube from furring up. A um, bit like an aquarium, you know, when um, you have to clean an aquarium every so often because it furs up on the inside on the glass and that. Well, that's the same with the laser tube because that's a glass tube and that antifreeze helps to prevent that. Also, the water isn't normal water, it's um, deionized water, which also helps as well. So anyway, so here we are with the laser and we're set up on our workpiece here so this is where we're going to be cutting our, our handsaw out and um, first of all we're going to engrave it and then we'll do a finish you know the, the last part of it will be actually cutting it out so anyway i'll set up for the software now to engrave that first part and then we'll have a look at that right so everything's set up for cutting and engraving so first of all we just need to set the laser's height so for engraving we need the laser's focused point to be sitting on top of the or to be cutting on the very top of the um, acrylic so that's now set for that and we'll just run a box and that shows us where that's going to fit onto this piece of acrylic and then we just hit start and then it will start to engrave. You may just have heard of something start up there. That's the pressure. There's an air feed head on the laser itself and that's blowing air constantly through and that stops the lens from getting contaminated by the smoke residue which is coming off the top of the acrylic and also help to disperse the acrylic dust which is being burnt off.
Right, so that's the first stage done. We'll just move the laser out of the way. And if we lift this up, the saw will just drop straight through. And here we have the engraving side of it. Um, I've just still got the protective covering on the back, so I'll peel that off later. So what we need to do now is to cut the wooden handles, which are going to be glued onto um, obviously this end here. So we'll do that next. Right, I've swapped over now to a piece of timber. This is just three millimeter MDF, and we're now going to cut the handle. So I've programmed it. We're going to do the engraving and then obviously cut the handle out. So here we go. Right, so that's them both cut, and we'll just move this out of the way. And here we have both sides of the handle. So obviously one with the engraved screw heads and the one to sit on the back. So we'll just remove the protective covering. and then we'll glue the handle on. And for this I'm just using a glue which will stick both wood and acrylic. And make sure we get it all nice and square, which is there. Yep, that's gone off. And then we glue the back on as well. And again, just make sure it's nice and square to the front one. And that's it. And now we can just pull the rest of the protective covering off. And there we have one saw to hang above the door. Well, here's just some pictures of the finished saw. Uh, I obviously made this one and then some people saw it and said, oh, can we have one as well? So I had to make this one, which is here and they wanted only Grandad, Elliot and Sophie allowed to be engraved on the bottom as well. So they're obviously the grandkids and the granddad. So anyway, so that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and subscribe to my channel obviously, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.